Hi, thanks for joining us again. I'm here with Kim Wright, integrative law expert and legal change agent. She's the author of Lawyers as Peacemakers, an American Bar Association bestseller and flagship book. Welcome. Thanks. It's good to be here. Now, Kim, tell us about your background uh, and tell us what, what, what your movement is. I, there's a movement called Integrative Law. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I started as a lawyer and I saw the pieces of the legal system that weren't working and I started studying all of these new innovative ways of practicing law that were coming on in the, in the late 80s and 90s. So um, integrative law is sort of the umbrella term for all of those. So uh, this is my teaching tool for explaining integrative law. There's a, a, a poem about the blind men and the elephant. Six blind men encounter an elephant in a clearing and each one touches a different part of the elephant. So the blind man who touches the back of the elephant says, an elephant is like a wall. And you see, this is a wall. Or the one man says, no, an elephant is like a tree. Another says, no, a fan, a sword, a snake, a rope. And they argue about what is the elephant. For me, integrative law is like that. There's this whole sort of philosophy about practicing law that has a lot of different expressions. So maybe restorative justice is one, uh, collaborative law in divorces, problem solving courts, some kinds of mediation. All of those together sort of connected by a common philosophy are integrative law. And Kim, how do you see this movement innovating justice? It's actually a collection of innovations. Some of them are from ancient times that we've, we've brought back, like sitting in a circle, uh, which was very tribal and, and, and speaks to uh, sort of our historical traditions. And others are pretty much brand new, like conscious contracts. It's like, how, how do we have contracts that uh, are based on our values and our purpose and, and have a system of dispute resolution that is based on our values. You've been called a legal rebel by the American Bar Association. Tell us about that. Well, the, in 2009, the American Bar Association did a, a, a tour um, and interviewed uh, the people they called the legal rebels. The, uh, they're the change makers, the visionaries, the people who are creating the next legal system. And so I was um, honored uh, to be one of the first class of legal rebels. And what are some of the models of integrative law? So restorative justice is a good example. It's, it's in the criminal system and it's really looking at how do you heal the harm of crime. Collaborative law is about how do you have divorce without litigation? How do you have an amicable win-win solution? Conscious contracts are about creating a new future together, and that's why we're having a contract in the first place. And then some forms of mediation are also part of this movement of, you know, really let's look at what is the win-win solution and how do we move forward from where we are. You're currently on a world tour to spread the word about the integrative law movement. Can you tell us about that? I actually gave up my house at the end of 2007, and I thought I was going to travel for about three months. And uh, so it's 2014, it's now been almost seven years. And I, I started out first just to interview people, to illuminate what was going on in this movement. But one of the things I discovered is that there are all these people who are innovators who think they're alone. And so my tour has been about finding those people who thought they were alone and letting them know, first of all, that they're part of a movement and then introducing them to other people in the movement. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Kim is currently working on her second American Bar Association book, Integrative Law, expected in 2015.